What began as a nostalgic celebration of a cinematic classic turned into a night of controversy and unexpected statements. Tonight, we unravel the events of Richard Dreyfuss's recent appearance at a special jaw screening, where the Oscar-winning actor's shocking comments have ignited a firestorm. Hello, and welcome to AU News, where we bring you the latest stories making waves in the entertainment world. I'm your host, and tonight we dive into the tumultuous night at the Cabot Theater, where Richard Dreyfuss's remarks left the audience stunned. Let's uncover what really happened. Over Memorial Day weekend, the Cabot Theater in Beverly, Massachusetts, hosted a $300 a head screening of the 1975 blockbuster Jaws, featuring a special Q&A session with Richard Dreyfuss. However, the evening took an unexpected turn when the 76-year-old actor, clad in a dress, launched into a tirade that left many attendees in shock. One attendee, Carrie, shared her experience with DailyMail.com, describing how Dreyfus began the night in high spirits, dancing to Taylor Swift's music and declaring it an LGBTQ moment. But what followed was a series of inflammatory comments targeting the LGBTQ community, the Me Too movement, and even his former co-star Barbara Streisand. Dreyfus's comments quickly turned derogatory as he described women as passive and criticized the Me Too movement, causing a noticeable shift in the theater's atmosphere. Some audience members, shocked and offended, began to boo and even walked out. According to Carey, the theater staff had been forewarned about Dreyfus's potential for unpredictable behavior after a similar incident in New Hampshire. Adding fuel to the fire, Dreyfus's remarks extended to transgender children, suggesting society shouldn't listen to a 10-year-old wanting to change their gender. His controversial stance on various social issues was further highlighted by previous comments on diversity and inclusion at the Academy Awards, where he expressed disdain for new inclusivity rules. In what seemed like an attempt to pivot, Dreyfus concluded his appearance by promoting his book on civics education and emphasizing the importance of teaching American democracy in schools. Despite his efforts, the damage had been done, and the theater issued an apology, distancing themselves from his offensive remarks. The night at the Cabot, intended to be a celebration of Jaws and Richard Dreyfus's career, instead became a platform for controversy. As the fallout continues, the theater's commitment to inclusivity stands firm, reminding us of the importance of respectful discourse. Stay tuned to AU News for more updates on this unfolding story and the reactions it has sparked within the entertainment community. That's all for today's segment. Be sure to subscribe to AU News for the latest updates on this and other breaking stories. Until next time, stay informed and stay connected.